This question is kind of sneaky because for many of us, it's it's kind of hard to follow the sentences and we, we just think it's maybe about the wording and not about any particular rule, but this is the grammar part of the test. There, there are rules here we have to follow. And if we know kind of the menu of rules that the SAT is choosing from, it maybe makes this easier. Very quickly, even just looking at the answer choices, I know that this is testing modifier placement. Okay, a modifier is kind of a way of describing something, and so these have to have specific ways that we use them in order to construct the sentence and, and make it grammatically correct. So let's take a look at what's going on here, and then we'll kind of go to the choices. Based on genetic evidence, archaeologists have generally agreed that reindeer domestication began in the 11th century CE. However, since uncovering fragments of a 2,000-year-old reindeer training harness in northern Siberia, something may have begun much earlier. So we're, we're trying to say something about the, the, the domestication having begun much earlier. But that's a little bit of a, a trap because, like, yes, we're trying to say that, but the part that matters is this. Since uncovering fragments of a 2,000-year-old reindeer training harness in northern Siberia, that's my modifier. It's... It's an intro clause, so for the sentence, it's not necessary, but because we have it, we have to construct the sentence in a certain way to match with that. So we have this introduction. What are we introducing? You might think it's the reindeer domestication, but it's really not, because that wouldn't make sense. Let's turn this modifier into a question. Who uncovered fragments of a 2,000-year-old reindeer training harness in northern Siberia? Who did that? Well, it doesn't say yet, but if we go to the choices, it's clearly this guy, Robert Losey, right? So what we need to do is follow the modifier with the thing that we're modifying, the thing that we're describing. So we're not describing the domestication here. We're describing this person who uncovered this new evidence. So the first thing that has to follow this is Robert Losey or some version of that, okay? Now, Choice A does that. They added the, the kind of like little title researcher, but it's okay. Uh, we're still talking about the guy. So that seems to check out. Robert Losey has argued that domestication may have begun much earlier. It's a short answer. It, it flows nicely. That might be one that sounds good to you, but it also follows the rule. So sound is not as reliable here. We want the rule to be followed as well. Uh, B, close, but it has a little bit of a trap. Researcher Lo uh, Robert Losey's argument is that domestication may have begun much earlier. So it sounds like it's starting with the guy, but this apostrophe is doing something that the SAT likes to do with these questions. It's, it's setting a trap because technically we're not actually starting the sentence with Robert Losey. We're starting with his argument. But an argument didn't uncover the fragments of the reindeer training harness, right? The guy did. The researcher did. So this is changing the thing, and it's changing it in a way that now it no longer makes sense. So this is a very common trap. Just be aware of it, and hopefully you'll be able to avoid it. Um, C, domestication. Researcher Robert Losey has argued may have begun much earlier. Well, we're, we're interrupting with his name, but that's not good enough because the first thing that we're talking about is the domestication. And again, the domestication did not uncover fragments of the harness. He did. So that doesn't work. And then D does the same thing as B does, but maybe more obviously wrong. The argument researcher Robert Losey has made is that domestication may have begun much earlier. Well, again, the argument didn't uncover the harness the guy did. So if we know the rule, there's only one answer that could even remotely be correct. It's not like there's any debate. So if you felt like you were between a couple answer choices here, it's probably because you didn't understand the rule that they were testing. These modifier questions are as far as my experience uh, goes, uh, they are, there's just one right answer that even from the beginning could be right. Like it's not like we're down to two that kind of check off the rule and then it's about which one sounds better. Usually the way this works is if we truly understand the rule, only one answer choice will follow it. All the others will break the rule, meaning that we're just stuck picking that one. And it really isn't about how it sounds. So this is a difficult rule. It's not as obvious that they're testing it. But if you know that it's on the menu, you're more likely to kind of get in that frame of mind and then start looking for the right ideas. So try to learn the grammar section in that way where there's just a few rules that the SAT tests consistently. And this is on that list.